Good morning, folks. We've got several items to see today. We had a solar flare from the large sunspot group, a derecho ripped across the center of the United States. We'll see an interesting planet that shouldn't exist and look at paleomagnetic conditions after the 6,000 year event. Looking at the last 24 hours on our star, we can see that in terms of CME production it was lacking. You might catch the flare flash from the big sunspot group turning to the departing limb. We still lack coronal holes facing Earth. The flare can be more easily seen here in 131 angstroms. It was impulsive and no CME was produced, but at M3.8, it was the largest that region has made so far. It continues growing as it heads towards the limb. And here you can see all the thin dark plasma filaments that are coming in behind it, all still being monitored today. Up next, let's go to the GO satellite to look at the derecho that tore across the country. Winds topped 90 miles per hour as hundreds of miles were traveled by the system over an eight hour period. You can see the trailing line of clouds tracing its path as hundreds of thousands were left without power in the wake of the storm system. Up next, we're looking at a planet that should have been swallowed by its star's red giant growth phase but it wasn't. They make some guesses about how that could be possible, like the planet may have formed after the recurrent Nova event, or the chemical signature being from a smaller, now exploded star. But either way, these guesses are not confirmed, nor do they have a lot of evidence. For now, it's a planet that has defied death. Lastly, folks, hopefully we recall how the compiled paleo intensity data has for years suggested that a magnetic field dip took place about 6,000 years ago. We'd been calling it the NOAA event since it coincided with the tropical hydroclimate events like wild flooding and the greenest of the green Saharan episodes several months ago. They confirmed it with lava flows in China and officially called it a previously undiscovered geomagnetic excursion. Today, we see the expected bounce back of the field after that excursion, with data from 5,500 years ago suggesting a wildly strong geomagnetic field that wasn't otherwise predicted by the existing models, but which fits with the pattern of excursion and then rapid recovery of the field in the aftermath, after a pole shift, a magnetic golden age. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out the resources listed below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.